YouTube from beautiful Bangkok, Thailand. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. Welcome back to yet another one of my solo travel videos. Lloyd is still in Canada, skydiving with his brother. If you watched my last video, you would know that I flew United. All my flights were missed, canceled, delayed, and they lost my baggage. So unfortunately, I'm here in Thailand with nothing. I have nothing of mine. I only had my carry-on, which pretty much just had my computer and my cameras and stuff in it. But all my stuff is gone, so I have no like toiletries, skincare, clothing. <laughs> so I've got to go buy some stuff. Today, um, I've had about four hours of sleep and I traveled for about 35 hours, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just going to see if I can navigate my way around and see if I can find something to be able to exercise in. Maybe get a, some swimmers so I can go up to the pool just so I can actually hang around here. And hopefully United and Thai Airways find my bag. Um, I'm just staying positive about it. It's an interesting experience and it's getting me out of the house. So if you want to come with me, I'm going to head to the mall now and then I might go take myself for a massage or go check out the rest of this apartment building. It's amazing. I'm seriously obsessed with this apartment. I'm so, so happy with it. It's really quiet because it's super high up. So I can't hear the city, which is perfect for me. It's not as overwhelming as it usually is coming here, which has felt really good. So much more space in here than I thought we would have. So here is our little kitchen. It's got, I think this is just a microwave, um, which is pretty cool. Kind of looks like an oven, but they've also got this little toaster oven here too, which is handy. Really nice big fridge and it's fully equipped with everything. I can't remember exactly the price that we're pa we paid for this. We've only booked two weeks at the moment, but I'm already considering booking a full month because I really, really like it. And I'm really happy here already. It even came with a yoga mat, which is good since I don't have my bags. I don't have mine and a foam roller, which made me really happy. Um, lots of space here. We got the living area, TV, lots of workspace for us, which is awesome. Incredible view. And we've got a washing machine in this cool balcony I'm never gonna get sick of that view view from the bedrooms awesome too big windows another desk for me to work from and we've got a nice big bath that I had this morning which really set me straight um, it's awesome bidet toilet This place just got listed on Airbnb, so it's actually it was much more affordable than it probably should have been. But I'm I'm really happy with it. I would pay I would pay more for it. So anyway, my grab is here. I'm going to head out to the shopping center and hopefully I can find some clothing. Cause I don't want to keep wearing the same thing <laughs> every day. <laughs> Even though I like them both, but 
I definitely feel healthier here. I'm really happy we're going to be staying here a longer period of time and moving slowly because there's so many cool restaurants right on our block that I want to try different bars and things. This is the coolest area I've ever got to live in. the most jet lagged I've ever been. I feel hungover. I'm having such a hard time getting into a schedule. I'm just exhausted. This is also the first time I've actually listened to my body and not like pushed myself. <laughs> just been doing a lot of yoga and trying to sleep. I'm gonna go check out the pool. I haven't looked at it yet. I thought it was on the top floor, but it's actually on the fifth floor. And I was like, my key card wouldn't let me up there. And I couldn't figure out what was wrong, but I uh, just messaged the owner and he said that it's on the fifth floor. So I'm gonna go check it out.
gosh. This is so nice. I had no idea. I knew this building was nice, but not this nice. I can't believe I live here. especially in Asia. I think I've mentioned this on our channel before, but shower before going in any pools if you're gonna swim under, because the chlorine is a lot higher here and it'll make your hair go green so badly and you'll have to get it fixed like I have to. But a hairstylist explained it to me that if you wet it in the shower with regular water first and then go in the pool, blonde hair is quite porous, so it'll soak up the chlorine if it's not wet, if it's dry. So if it's wet, you go in, you're all good. So if you've got kids that their hair constantly turns green in the pool, just make them wet it before. It's life so much easier. I wish I knew this sooner. Okay, I did have bigger plans for today um, to go out, but I just got a call about my bag and they're going to be coming and dropping it off this afternoon sometime. So I kind of have to hang around the apartment. So I'm just gonna go quickly grab some stuff and wait for my bag. I'm so happy that I'm gonna get it back and they're going to refund me and reimbursed me for everything I had to purchase during this time, which is such a relief because I did have to buy quite a bit of stuff. Overall, I'm just really thankful because I had a really good attitude about everything and I think that always like projects, like if you just embrace whatever you're going through, whatever chaos you're going through, I find that having a positive attitude always brings a positive outcome. Eventually it happens even if it takes a while. That's what's happened. So very relieved getting all my stuff back and I've got nice new stuff now too <laughs> for free I guess sort of <laughs> Lloyd's arriving in 24 hours so I'm going to go do some running around and get some stuff ready for him to arrive here uh, so he feels happy and so we can celebrate us being in Bangkok together bag back thank goodness it looks like my bag went on my first flight <laughs> if you watched our, my last video you would know that my flight got changed like three two or three times can't even remember now and I guess they just never changed where my bag was going <laughs> but I got it back I'm so grateful oh my goodness <sighs> what a relief this trip has not gone exactly the way that I had planned so far. Um, I've pretty much spent most of my time like replacing things that had been missing, getting over the worst jet lag I've ever had. I'd be pretty bummed if this was my holiday. Like if I was only here for a week, I'd be pretty bummed. But luckily I'm here long term, so I don't have to worry about that. And I can't believe Lloyd's already arriving tomorrow. I've, I can't believe I've been here that long already. Um, I'm really excited to see him and for us to do adventures around Thailand together. I just love traveling with him more than anything. This experience has been really great being by myself, but like, I love being married. <laughs> I love it. It's so fun. Mm -hmm. 